A rising crime in our city is not being caused by bail reform. That's according to city comptroller Brad Lander. His latest reports not only address the controversial pretrial reform, but also the state of conditions at Rikers Island and the Department of Correction. He spoke with News 12's Kurt Semder to break down those numbers. Crime rates are going up, but bail reform is not what is causing that or contributing to it. City Comptroller Brad Lander says the numbers don't lie. In a report released this week, his office looked at month-by-month -month figures from 2019 when the new bail reform law went into effect through early this year. In any given month, of the people that were awaiting trial in the community, 95% were not rearrested for any new offense and 99% were not rearrested for a new violent offense. This report coming as some elected officials are considering changes or a complete rollback of the bail reform laws. But the Comptroller's report recommends just the opposite, calling on the state to reject rollbacks and strengthen implementation of the law. If we focus in a place that's not causing the problem, that takes away from our ability to put time and money and resources and attention to the things that really will make communities safer. But the Comptroller doesn't stop at bail reform. In another report released this week, he revealed the Department of Corrections remains on their watch list after finding increases not just in spending, but also in incidents of violence at Rikers Island, the cause of which he identifies as increased absenteeism by corrections officers. It skyrocketed at Department of Corrections from 5 to 7 percent up to 27 percent. It's only about 10 and 11 percent at FDNY and sanitation. Um, and so about a quarter of uniform correction officers are not showing up to work. And that was Kurt Semder reporting. Another finding of the Comptroller's report concerns the closing of Rikers Island, concluding that the city will need to reduce its jail population by 40 percent, nearly half, in order to follow through on plans to shut down the facility.